Hello, Norman Hale with NTJP 3D Print. I'm going to go over the S, the Solvo SV01 Pro today. Go over some uh, different things I've done with it, some modifications to it, and an upgrade. But starting off with what it comes standard with, it has the uh, filament sensor up top here. It has dual Z axis. It has the direct drive. It has belt tensioners that come standard with it. It has the touch screen. You can change it from day to night to day. Um, has a flexible build plate that comes with it also that comes standard with it I have done an upgrade on it on the only upgrade I've done so far is going to be the build plate I've gone to this flexible steel build plate I love these build plates they uh, work great this is one of the models I've designed and developed for uh, testing my models with and everything as you can see the bottom of it it's very shiny it's nice how it comes out from the bottom of the the build plate very easy to remove. This one here is a 50% model. Uh, it was made specifically to help me work on uh, printing. It, if it's not printed just right, when I go down the small size, especially when I go down to like a 25% scale, 50% scale, the 25% scale, if it's not tuned just right, it will not hold and it will not print. I successfully printed a 25% on this machine here. They're very fragile and they don't last very long until they break, but they, are, they do come out and it works. Also use it to print lithophanes. You can print lithophanes with it of different kinds. Doesn't matter what you do. I use these for uh, what's called a slide light that I developed recently. You can slide your pictures, use these lithophanes into them. They just slide in here. And they go across and then you can change them out back and forth to different sites for different lights. Back to the machine right now, what I've done though as far as after I've gone through all this working on it, printing some things out, make sure they worked all right. It came out good prints and so forth designed some modifications I wanted to use. Could not find anything over here. I, I've I installed an SD card uh, reader instead of having the micro SD card. I needed something for that. I could not find that. So I designed this system here which also enables you to store two of the SD cards on it. Your pliers go in there. Scraper goes in there. This here is also a place where it will hold the um, USB without the cap on it, built-in cap on it, makes it kind of nice there to have access over here to your port there. I've also uh, made a storage on the side of it. These open up and come out, and you can add for different storage. They make whatever you want to as far as size and storage on that. Those have added to it as well. Excellent machine. Main today I want to let you be able to see is what this looks like, what the machine looks like, and these upgrades you can get for it now. Those are all in the link below. Hopefully this will help you out as far as running your machine. This is very nice to have on your machine whenever you're trying to move it back and forth to have a handle on it without having to touch this build plate when it gets very hot. So this is some modifications I made. Hopefully it'll help you out some and you can use some of them. See you down below.